uh, I just discovered a method to test the sort handling characteristic. I personally prefer a sort that is um, quite balanced in the weight distribution, where the sort tip move as much as my hand move and stop right there. And it, in this standard, the sort will lend you just enough power for a cut and it will not affect your agility in the movement as well. Um, this is a very difficult to grasp concept because uh, most people prefer a blade light sort for agility and some Chinese style traditionalists like I was would prefer a um, blade heavy sort for a uh, strong strike. However, uh, after handling the long ship Shenlong Jian, my taste has changed. I would, I found that there is a unique characteristic on the Shenlong Jian. The Jian, the tip of the and the hilt of the Jian moves together, and a very solid, stiff feeling, and there is no latency in the in the sort movement with my hand. It is the perfect Jian I have tested, and. At first, I worried about that the gem will not have enough power in the cut, but after the test, I'm convinced that it is more than enough. Then, so, I went on to devise a test method to try out all my sauce and see which one achieved that level of perfect balance, and I figured out a method to test that I'm trying to demonstrate now. For example, this JLDS John Nundemo made Devil's Layer sort of mine. You can grip it, grab it here with a pommel hand, but lose yourself up. So it doesn't exert any extra force. And then the other hand on the huge here, you throw it up with this hand and take it back with this hand as well. During the motion, you can see if the tip moves move totally in harmony with the hilt so that it drops horizontally and go up horizontally or it moves in latency uh, doesn't move as, as uh, if, if it's latency it's usually going up too much so the hilt come down first uh, that, that represents that the tip is too light and if the tip doesn't move as much then the as, as much as the heel did, then the tip is too heavy. Now, we, just, we first check this example. I'm letting it, letting it to free fall, okay? It's a free fall job. And you see that the tip doesn't move higher than the heel or any less than the heel. So this one, John Lundan will make Devil's layer. Is the, the perfect button sort that I like. Okay, now we see another example. But first, put down this one. This is Zhang uh, Qiren Han Jian. Okay, we put it to the same test. You see the tip, the tip moves in latency. That means the tip is too light, the heel is too, too heavy. So in this kind of sort, you have to give it, you have to actually give it power to strike. Otherwise, it, otherwise it doesn't lend you too much too much power, okay? Let me try another another one. This is the tanker made devil's layer. The, the the point of balance is weighed out. And during the test you can notice that the tip doesn't move much. The tip doesn't want to move. That's because too much weight over there. 
it doesn't move in a horizontal way. So this stop. Although it lends you power, a lot of power, but doesn't have the agility of the perfect balance I've stated. Try katana. Two-handed and this test. Now you see, the katana actually do quite well. It's horizontally up and down. Now we talk about the single-handed version of the test. With a single-handed version, you use a single-handed sword, and then you grip it with your palm facing down, downward, like this, palm facing downward, okay, and with as little fingers as possible, as, as few fingers as possible, gripping it like using only the middle finger and the thumb, okay, and then you throw it up, but not losing your grip, and let it down, free falling, like this, and you can see the tip doesn't move as much as my hand did. You see the hilt go up and down more. Ah oh, no, the hilt go up and down more than the tip did. So what does it mean? It means the tip is heavy, not willing to move. Now this is the cartier. And we can try the Zhang Qi Ren Han Jian here. As a two-handed sword, its tip is too light. You can see that the tip flies. Latency, you see? The tip is too light. But how about it as a single-handed sword? And a single-handed sword gripping here. The tip doesn't move. <laughs> doesn't move as much. That is not right. Then we can, since it has a certain length on the grip, we can move our hand along the grip and find the perfect pattern balance. We can try to move down to here like this, and then the tip doesn't move. Okay, it's too heavy. We move a bit. Okay, it's better now. It's going more horizontal. Now we can move a bit. Now, this is good. This is very cool. You see? The tip and heel actually move together. And if I adjust the grip a little bit again, then the tip is a little bit too light as a latency. Okay. So the perfect position for a single handed grip on this hand gen is this one. You see it moves totally horizontal, up and down. It's here. A little bit from the gap. With the grip in perfect balance place, it moves very well. Up and down, horizontal, no latency. It moves as much as you move. Just as much. Not more, not less. And it cuts with power. Cuts with power, okay? So this is a single-handed version. Okay.